All right, so we are here at Live in Washington, D.C., and we are here with Lorenzo Zoe Ferguson, um, very talented producer and musician. Uh, he's here for his album release event for the new album, Man Made. Why don't you tell the folks a little bit about it? Um, Man Made is, uh, I guess it's about a week old now. Just came out on uh, FE Music. Um, you know, another another compilation album, I guess you could call it, uh, to where I'm doing the production along with, uh, you know, my writing and producer partner, Fonte. And we're working with some of, I guess, some, some of your favorites, some of my favorites, including Fonte, Cy Smith, uh, Gwen Bunn, Chocolate, uh, Gene Jolly, Eric Robeson, uh, Anthony David, you know, the cats like that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just... Uh, just out, you know, performing it live and making sure that we get a nice little push behind it, uh, you know, for promotion purposes. Given your experience with touring and performing live shows, what would you say has been the best part of it so far? Uh, it's always fun to um, to just receive the fans, man, and just see how they react to you and re react to your music. Like, it's, you know, there's not, no feeling better than, than seeing, you know, a, a crowd full of people recite lyrics and, and uh, you know, no bits and pieces of your music and different intricacies of your music that you, you know, thought of out of your own head and made at your house type of thing. So, um, you know, it's it's always a pleasure, man, to just to just get in front of your supporters and your listeners and and have them celebrate with you. Now, you grew up in Detroit, correct? Yeah. So, growing up and having a lot of different musical influences. What would you say were some of the biggest ones for you? Um, well, I had, I had a mix, well, kind of a mixed bag. I guess it was kind of coming, stemming from the same spot, but like my, my mother was, she was the Motown sound. She, she loved Temptations, she loved Four Tops, she loved um, Stevie and, and Michael, Jackson Five, that type of stuff. I got that from her. And, you know, she's a huge Earth, Wind & Fire fan. Like, that's not Motown, but, you know, she loved, she loved all that type of stuff. So she was like the true R&B um, um, uh, person of the house, while my father was more on the, the jazz and, like, the funk side. So I got a lot of, you know, straight-ahead jazz from him. I got a lot of funk. I got a lot of, uh, you know, Funkadelic and uh, James Brown and uh, even Jimi Hendrix. Cause he, he was a guitar player, my father's a guitar player. So, um, you know, anybody that played the guitar, you know, he, he was listening to and, and I was rubbing off, you know, just, you know, from that. Now you've played DC a few times before. What's your opinion of the music scene here in the DC metro area? You know, DC music scene is a, is a place where musicians can work and actually have a full-time job as a musician. It's very interesting. Um, when I first got here in 2006, um, you know, and and coming on the on on the scene and people who would like call you, you know, I got a gig tomorrow night. Can you make it? And that was like foreign to me. But I think I think the the live music scene here is, is has always been active. Also, the um, you know I I usually see a lot of DC crowds show a lot of love. I remember the first couple times playing here, um, which was with, I think it was with Asher Root. And, um, you know, we'd be playing in the crowd, you know, sometimes even the crowd, even the crowd, uh, if the crowd is small, like, you know, they giving it up. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of crazy. They show, they show a lot of, a lot of love here in DC, man. I'm really appreciative. Is there any genre of music that you feel you haven't tackled yet that you'd like to get into? I haven't really dabbled in like the you know the house genre. I would love to mess with stuff like that because I mean that's still you know fusing uh, soul elements and also just you know the 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 danceability the danceability of a record. Like when you play when you play that type of record live, like it's usually a winner. When are we going to see another Zone Tiglo album? Oh, another cover album? Yes. No sir. <laughs> no. Nah, not happening. Oh. Original, we working on original material, man. Um, you know, the '80s album was something we did. Um, I mean, we did it kind of. We did it kind of on a dare, and um, you know, it like sparked into this like huge, huge cult following type of thing to where. You know, we released the album in 2008, and it's 2013, and people are like, I get asked that question probably literally like once a week. Um, you know, when's another 80s album, when the 90s coming out? But it's not happening. Like, you know, we, 
and we're just moving on and, and uh, you know, working with, with more uh, original music. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with me and talk with some of our readers at Poptopia. So, no um, best of luck on your show. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate y'all uh, reaching out and um, much love to the readers. All right. Thanks, man.